Good, good, Willie. Well, we got all of our media here, and uh, we're going to start with okay. Darren, who's going to be the first one to ask you a question here, okay? Okay, yes, sir. Hey, Go ahead, Darren. Willie, first of all, uh, welcome uh, to the Kansas City Chiefs, and we soon welcome you to Kansas City. Uh, yes, sir. First, uh, first thing you know, I want to ask, uh, of course, you played only five games last season, but what do you think stood out on the game tape that Coach Reed and Brett Veach saw uh, enough of you to bring you to Kansas City? And what do you think your contributions could be immediately to this ball club? Well, really, with me, just, you know, one thing I prided myself on was you know, no matter if I played five games or 15, you know, I was going to be the same player, same guy, same person every chance I got to be on the field, whether it was practice, whether it was a game, whether it was scout team, you know, and I feel like, you know, it showed. A lot of coaches saw it, and thank God Kansas City, you know, took a chance on me, you know, and um, really just that, man. And, you know, I, I I make it work even with five games. You know, I don't need 10, 10 to 15 games to make plays, you know, five games. I mean, of course, I would love to play my whole season, but just made it work with what I had and, and, and got the best out of it. Harold, go ahead and fire away. Thank you, Brad. And uh, Willie, uh, congratulations on being drafted. Welcome to Kansas City. Uh, my question yes, for you, obviously, Andy Reid, Brett Veach, your conversations with them, kind of go into some details about what those conversations were like with them. They did a lot of background research. And what did you open up to them about uh, your, your issues in college and how you feel yes, that sir. you're ready to be a professional athlete? Well, you know, uh, they asked me about everything, you know, the quarterback situation, the suspension for the academic thing. And, you know, man, really just, you know, it's not like, it's not like I'm just say, oh, it wasn't my fault, you know, because it was something that I could have avoided easily. Uh, I, I, I dealt with the consequences of it. It made me a better man, made me a better person. You know, it helped me appreciate the game of football. It made me really find the love of football even more, you know, and um, and now, man, I, I'm, I've grown from it and I'm ready to just play ball, man. Uh, B.J. Kissel. Hey, Willie, congratulations, man. Welcome to the yes, Chiefs. Thank you. Uh, just curious, when you talk about the, the passion for the game, uh, it was one of the things yes, that sir. Coach Reed had talked about you, um, one of the things that you read draft analysts and reports on you, they're talking about your passion for the game, and you're an energy giver. Uh, where did that passion kind of come from, and uh, who kind of instilled that uh, in you when you were a kid, that, that kind of uh, love for the game? You know, man, uh, I started playing the game when I was six, man, and I was like always the fastest guy on the field, man. But when I got to high school, man, you know, just to be able to compete with guys that were some kind, some way, you know, just as good as me, it made me fall in love with competing, you know. And, um, and you know, when I can hit a guy, he gets up, he hits me, I get up, you know, just just the love for the game, the the, the rough part of the game is what I love, man, and the brotherhood. And it, it makes you a better man outside of football, you know. It teaches you life lessons that you never thought football could teach you, you know. And, and that's really something that helps me a lot. Uh, let's go to Matt Derrick. Hey, Willie, welcome to Kansas City, and congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, how did how have you been spending this draft night? Uh, you know, what was your expectations going into this about where you might go? And and tell us me a little bit about your conversations you had with the Chiefs when they told you you were the pick. Uh, well, you know, I've heard rumors of two to four, you know, so anywhere in that range, I was, you know, I was ready for it. So, uh, but man, honestly, I was telling my family, my interview, my phone interviews with the Chiefs went so well, man, you know, the past few weeks that I said, man, they can't pass on me twice, you know, so, uh, you know, and, you know, they could have, but, you know, they, they took a chance on me, man. And, and right, right when they called me, man, I was like, you know, in shock, like, oh man, it's time, you know, I'm ready to work. So I'm ready. Let's go to Steve Walls. Hey, Willie, how you doing, man? Congratulations. Yes, sir, how you doing? Thank you. Hey, uh, walk us through this, the process uh, of the draft, man. Uh, yes, sir. You, what was that process like? Coach said that you had to leave your home man, and go into town to actually make the, the, the video chats. Man, yes, sir. Like, you know, with me, I just make whatever I have work, man. Like, right now, I'm in an old kitchen, man, at a cooking place. So, <laughs> so you know, just do what I got, use what I got, and, you know, make it work. So, you know, um, and just whatever, man, just make it work. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Willie, welcome to Kansas City, man. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. How do you think your skill set matches with what the Chiefs like to do defensively, and how much have you looked at that film of what, how Steve Spagnuolo uses the linebackers? Well, I know for a fact, you know, they you know play a lot of man. They do a lot of everything, you know, and I feel like 
more speed with with Tyran on the defense, man, and a great defense all around, you know, around him and Chris Jones, you know, man, and those great linebackers. I feel like that's perfect for me. I can get better from those guys, man, learn a lot. They can teach me a lot. I take in every little – I'm just a sponge out there, man. I take in every piece of detail, you know, whether it's something in practice, something in the game, something with film room study, you know, and I'm, I feel like I'm in a great, posi- great position, man, and, and the defense is awesome, so I'm ready. Yes, sir. All right, guys, we're going to take three more. We're going to take Nate and then Matt and then Nick Jacobs, and we're going to be done here. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Willie, congratulations on being selected tonight. Um, yes, sir, thank you. you. You mentioned that during the course of the uh, violations and the suspension that you sort of learned your love of football even oh, yeah. more. What do you think you learned uh, most about yourself during that position when it, obviously it's the first time that you've really missed a game of football during that stretch? Well, well, you know, man, I cried for four days straight when I found out about my suspension. And, you know, I prayed. I talked to my mom. I talked to a lot of people, man, and, you know, I said this either this can either break make me or break me. You know, and uh, I sucked it up, man. And I was if if you would have never knew I was suspended, man, you would have thought I was going in every day to play, get ready to play Alabama, man. And I made sure I kept that mentality, made sure I just was me. You know, still love football. The love isn't gonna change, never. It it only got stronger, you know. So fuel to the fire, man, and it just made me hungrier, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hey, Go ahead, Willie. Matt. Hey, Willie. Congratulations, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm just curious. Did you watch the Super Bowl? And if so, did you envision yourself playing with guys like Tyron and Frank Clark and man. the championship defense? You know what's crazy, man? I, I watched those guys, man. But, you know, then, man, I was like, man, those guys look good. You know, I was watching both defenses. That's the only reason I watched football, to watch defense. So, you know, man, I was like, man, great defense game. And uh, honestly, man, I, I, wouldn't think, I didn't think I was going to be on the Kansas City Chiefs defense, man. And to say I'm, I'm part of it now, man, it's a blessing, man. Young bull coming in, I'm ready to learn, man. I'm ready to learn and get better, man, and soak in everything. So it, it's great, man. All right, Nick Jacobs, close us out. All right, hey, Willie, for you, who's been one of your bigger mentors on the football field, and what did they teach you that's really stuck with you over the years? Man, you know what, man? I can say a lot of people, man, from high school to college, but the most recent, man, will have to be – my three, my last three linebacker coaches, man, Coach Christian Robinson, Coach Tim Lukabu, and Coach Chris Marr, man, uh, those guys, they they didn't only make me a better football player, they made me a better man. And, you know, uh, help handle responsibility, just, you know, be a pro at everything you do was, was the main thing that those three coaches, you know, preached, you know, with going to class, you know, coming to film on time 20, 15 minutes early, attacking the field with a positive mindset, you know, just anything in life, man, it makes me better every day, you know, whether it was game, game week or by week or off season or workout day, man. So really just that, man, never take a day off. All right. Thank you, Willie, for joining us. We appreciate you. We'll talk to you soon. Yes, sir.